Okay, so we're about to queue up into another Midnight Hunt draft. And I think the big thing um, that I want to be really cognizant of is some of the big power and payoff cards in the colors. Because I think, like, um, Join the Dance, which just summons two 1-1s, one is a nice um, beneficiary of other power cards. But you won't win the deck with, or win the game with those in your deck. And again, I feel like I am learning increasingly that black and blue have many good commons to fill things out. I think green also feels kind of spiky. Like if you get some eccentric farmers, you get some shadow bee sightings, it's really good. Uh, hey, what's going on? You want attention? I'm right here. I know you want to go outside, but you can't because there's a scary dog out there. And I want you to live. Well, hey, while while we have the timer uh, counting down, I want to remind all of you watching live and any of you watching on YouTube that um, on October 19th, we are starting our fall DK30. Several times a year, we do something called DK30, where we all come up with a project we can get done with in 30 days, and we all start them together. It's a great way to sort of motivate each other, keep each other accountable. If you're frustrated and you want to share why you're annoyed or something went great, um, and you also want to socialize around that. This is what DK30 is for. Easy. DK30 is a chance for you to either get something done with that you've been putting off. Maybe it's just cleaning out the garage. Or maybe it's a step towards a larger goal, which is what many people do. I'm going to spend 30 days taking art tutorials because I've always wanted to learn digital art and things like that. Um... We'd love to invite you to join us. You can go to our website, danai.tv, go to DK30, where my loud cat is. Uh, and you can sign up or you can not sign up and just do it on your own. But most importantly, we have our we have our Discord, which is sort of the centralized source for all the uh, action. A flying lifelinker, 4-5 for five, for 5. Whenever a non-token creature dies, return that card to my hand. Exile enemy creatures. This is one of the best cards out there. He returns. We're very happy to have a Liesa. What a what a what a truly horrific pack this is. Uh, everything here is quite bad. I really would love to run Liesa. I think Liesa is good enough that we can actually have a disproportionate number of mediocre cards and still be fine. Because again, there's a lot of black commons that are pretty solid. But I think that um, Burn the Accursed is probably a reasonable one to do because maybe this Haunted Ridge wheels and red is a very splashable color in this format. Uh, another alternative is just to pick up the Haunted Ridge. I mean, this pack is terrible. I think it's between Burn the Accursed and the Haunted Ridge, but I'd rather take the Burn the Accursed and get a couple of power cards and we're like splashing for red to kind of make something work. Or... Oh my goodness. Well, I feel like it's going to be either Blade Stitched Scob or Root Coil Creeper. Which one do we think is going to be better? We have really seen not a lot of anything too notable. In the slightest. I think I'm more inclined to pick the Root Coil Creeper. It's add one mana of any color. Um, or two to cast for the... Uh, or Hobzobble's actually okay. You know, I'm going to commit to my Sweet Liesa. And just get the Hobbling Zombie. I, I think we're actually probably going to be okay. All right, there we go. There's some good stuff. There's some good stuff. Soul Guide Griff, I have never been disappointed with, ever. I love this card. And we. I think that we're our basic story that we're building is defense on the ground, win in the air. I'm happy we picked up our Hobzobble. I'm glad we picked it up. That, that was, I, I think, a really challenging pick. That was a really, really challenging pick. 
Um, Soul Guide Griff. Yeah, I think Novice Occultist is the kind of thing I'd want as well. This, I think, is also a thing that I'd be content to have. Clog the ground and win in the skies. I think Siege Zombie is an excellent, excellent two-drop. Alternatively, we could say that the Morning Patrol is a nice sort of spirited value card. I think it's one of these two. The Evolving Wilds is also a very reasonable pick with Burn the Accursed and this double white restriction. Double white and black makes me really want to have nice ways to get the other one. Yeah, uh, just Monkey said I was been a little underwhelmed by Scob. Yeah, the 2-3 that gives your other zombies plus one, plus oh. Um, yeah, I've also been sort of mediocrely. Reacting to it. So good. The black is sort of dried up, but we're getting some reasonable white defense cards. We're getting some reasonable white. I have been really, really impressed with Neonate's Rush. I mean, we're not in red, but I really like this one. I'm going to get the Beloved Beggar, which I feel like is a an acceptable sign that white is somewhat open. Um, all of these are trash. Now, what we could say is let me get the Deserted Beach... And we are actually a Spirits deck that's splashing black for Liesa. I actually think that that's pretty, pretty nice. Sack to pick off a card and draw a card is quite good. Nothing here is like, oh, I want one of these or something like that. Like, everything seems pretty bad. It looks like white is open for sure. Um, Lunark Veteran, great. So we know white is open. This seems like one of those premium white cards. Um, I, I have not actually gotten a strong beat on blue. But correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like blue has been largely, like, garbage in our packs. I love Homestead Courage. I'd love one. Thank you. Andrew says, does Sungold Barrage not hit enough targets for it to be good removal? Um, conditional removal is always fine. It's never horrific, but, um, you know. Somebody says, blue has been terrible in these packs, which means everyone ahead of you is drafting it. See, I, I, I would say I, I somewhat agree. Get off the keyboard. I'm going to say I somewhat agree with that. All right, we have a Jaren. I think Jaren is actually good enough. It's a 2-3 that makes a 1-1. One, one. Very good in the clogged boards. I mean, I like this. Uh, the reason why I'm like, I kind of agree, is that, yeah, we haven't been getting any good blue. Period. You know, so then there you go. Get this out of here. Probably get this out of here. Organ Hoarder is the correct pick here, probably. I mean, maybe, yeah, actually. It's just so good. Um, I think we probably will still get the Jaren. It's rare that we can flip this. And it has lifelink. It's, it's perfectly good delay card. Uh, but anyways, I think that there's so much good blue common stuff that part of me is just like, you know, if we're not seeing uh, that much blue as a volume, that might just mean that the blue has been pretty pretty trashy. But I think that we're getting enough good blacks that I'm pretty, pretty. Um, just among us says, to justify my statement, blue is so deep, it's hard not to see some good cards unless people are taking it. Oh, yeah. I, I think I inverted what, what you were saying in my brain. Right of Oblivion. That's what we want. This is it. So we're probably, probably not going to be running this deserted beach. There's another Lunark veteran, which we absolutely expect to receive. Yeah, beloved beggar with some of these right of oblivion, like the Orzov leaning into the sacrifice. Nice, Diagraph Horde. Really nice. Really superb. Great. Very good news. Yes. 
Hooray. <laughs> this is just whenever another creature dies. This makes two creatures that die. I think that the correct pick is the Ecstatic Awakener. This is a very nice card when we have things like Beloved Beggar to Sack, when we have Hobzobbles and Diagraph Hordes making things. I think this is turning out to be a pretty, pretty solid little list. Okay, nothing really great. Do I want a second Homestead Courage? I'm going to be real with you. I hate Ritual Guardian enough that I'm going to pick the Homestead Courage. We might want Blade Brand, maybe. Um, I'm going to get the Homestead Courage. Could be that I'm a newbie. I'm definitely going to run Crawl from the Cellar. Oh my god, I'm definitely running this with Eliasa. Get out of here. See you later, Homestead Courage. Oh, a Cathar's Call? Or a Vampire Interloper? I, I think the pick is actually Interloper. I like Cathar's Call. Ooh, another Occultist. I'm happy about that. Kaka! Oh, yeah, more Crow Behemoth. I think I don't even have room for burn the man down. I'm a little concerned. We have four five drops, and, and five drops scare me a great deal. Hedge Witch. Wow, Grizzly Ghoul. Yeah, I guess I guess Golgari is pretty pretty trashy in this. What does this guy do? I think I actually just prefer Audric's Outrider. Whenever another creature you control dies, but a plus one, plus one counter on creature you control works great with the zombies. Yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely sure about running lots of these. Maybe, maybe one is okay. Because our goal is still to win in the skies, right? And this is a legitimate win condition card for how defensive the rest of our deck is built. Guys. Guys. What happened to our... What happened here? <laughs> Silversmith and Trapper might be reasonable choices for utility. I would love to get another one of those on the wheel, for sure. I guess Blade Brand. I don't know if we're going to be running it. Someone's getting some great green cards. Someone's just getting the good green stuff. The good green stuff. Uh, do I want more? I kind of feel like Silver Bolt might be good. We don't have a ton of removal. And this is going to come back. Let's go ahead and get this one. Arrogant Outlaw. We, I don't think we're aggressive enough for it. I actually think this will probably wheel. I'm just going to get another Ecstatic Awakener. I think they're good. Because this kind of helps address some of my... Ooh, yeah! Oh, yeah, baby! Oh, yeah, Rite of Oblivion. Get it. And it's Exile. Oh, yeah! See, I think Cathar Commando is quite weak. I think I just want... Creatures on the ground to clog things up. <gasps> it's a Candle Grove Witch. It's a Flesh Taker. It's a Gavany Silversmith. I like all of these. I think I have enough flyers. I think I'm just going to pick up the Flesh Taker. Combat trick in a box. All these cards are bad. Great.
Maybe I do want more of these. I don't think I want less of flying. I actually have a lot of combat tricks. Maybe we don't need the silver bolt anymore. Oh, it's time for my cat to meow. Oh man, someone has just an amazing green list. I hate this card. Which makes me mad. Lifelinker and you're bad? Get out of here. 27 cards, huh? Probably don't need the Blade brand. Sheriff. All right, I'm going to try to send out the bat signal. More like the cat signal. Try to get the cat a little bit more taken care of. I have, I've been a little cool on this. I like this, but we're going to get, get it out. I think this is essential for our list. I'm not 100% on this. Not 100% on this or this or all of these. Or necessarily this one. No, actually we want lots of novice occultists for things like Rite of Oblivion, Flesh Taker, Ecstatic Awakener. I think that seems right. See, in terms of removal, we have these Rite of Oblivions, which, I mean, this is a lot of removally thingies. Hey, kitten. Play brand also good with a cultist? Maybe, yeah. Uh, Colomation, uh, or excuse me, Colomitician X says, Hey, and I'm a bit confused about your DK30 on your site. Is the DK30 game jam form exclusively for making games? Or is that anyone doing the DK30 this time around? Uh, the, the Google form is if you are interested in being paired with other people for the game jam that we're running concurrently with the DK30. Everything else project-wise should be answered in the FAQ on day9.tv slash DK30. You can just see it if you scroll down a little bit, and that's where the main stuff is. I actually think I just want a vampire interloper. Right? How many creatures do we have? We have we actually have 19 creatures? Ooh, maybe I'm wrong on that. Um, what do we do here? What, what, what would we like to fit in? I actually think a silver bolt might just be correct. Some simple, clean removal. Get a flyer out of the way. Something like this. Something really basic. Unruly Mob might actually work very nicely in our list as well. I think we cut the Morkrut Behemoth, I think. This, this, I think, is maybe one of our weaker cards. Yeah, I think that's right. Glowing chest is some free wild cards. I'm never clicking the chest. You can't make me. I I, I think that, 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 at the very least, I'm comfortable cutting the Morkrut for the Unruly Mob. I think it's 
a little more synergistic with what I'm doing. I'm not entirely convinced that we should be cutting the morning patrols. I mean, they're not amazing, but they make they make baby flyers, which is good. We have a big flyer, baby flyers, notable flyer, big flyer. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm cool with this. Uh Orzov um sack baby. All right, we got an or Orzov sack baby list. I think I think this is what I'm going to do. Uh is 9 8 the right one? That's the right one. How many wins am I going to get? And I want to state that I believe that my plan is focused around the flyers and sort of holding down the ground with things like the ecstatic awakener, holding down the ground with things like the hobzobble uh with <coughs> Things like Beloved Beggar, honestly, and some of our removal. Until we can get to some big stuff. Audric's Outrider and Unruly Mob leverages a lot of the sacrificing that we have. I think that this white land might be my favorite in the entire game. Something about the coloration of it just, just speaks to me. I would cut one Occultist for Candle. Yeah, I, I, I'm unsure about my cultist count, but I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, technically five, six sack outlets. All right. Good morning. Lollipops, isn't the more credit way to sack uh, things, though? I'm not too familiar with it. Do we have a lot of sackers? Yeah, it could be that we say, all right, let's sack. Or let's cut a morning patrol to put in a Morkrat behemoth. Maybe. But I, I, I'm, I just don't like things that cost five in this format. I really don't. I think that things that come down on time... There's a Cathar Commando is the only notable one, huh? So I'll do this. Let's put the Vigilancia. Nice, Star Commando. Oh my god, I called it. Oh my god. I don't know why we're doing this here. Easy BFT says, I have all my points on believing. Don't let me down, Sean. Believe me, I may very well. I'm just going to keep building the board, man. These Vigilancers are great to just, like, attack and defend, man. He's beef, he's a JK. You can never let me down no matter what you do. Oh! But remember, if you lose those points, that's on you. In the night. Right? Human with indestructibility is a bit of an issue. I think this is still a fine block. I point we need to get plus four, plus four to make this block. Yep, so we traded the Flare of Faith for a single morning patrol. And this actually kind of stilts their turn a good bit. It resolves. All right, so we did get a land here, huh? Oh, dude, Bard just showed up. Bard's got a story for us. I'm just feeling him out of here.
All right, so this this is actually a fine time to attack like this. Unless there's the blessed whatever it's called. Wait, wh why are you not doing it on this one then? I, 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 oh. I'm very, 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 very confused. All right, did I? I think what? I guess I'm confused. Well, now he has Coven. Yeah, that's a that's a weird way to go for Coven. I just have to receive the damage. Yeah, I, I think I just super duper misread the situation here. All right, well. Yeah, we need on guard is. Super duper ultra gross. It would be something else to draw Liesa here. Liesa's good. The kill a creature. Gold card is good. Defenestrate's good. I think we actually have like a lot of really good options here. Silver Bolt is good. Let's see, we have seven. Three, four, five, six. Double strike, huh? So if I do this, what happens? I might actually just... So if this has a buff, we might actually die here, but it would need to be double buffed. I think I'm willing to die here if my opponent has a double buff. So no double buff. No double buff. That's good. All right, we got some boring turns incoming. Oh, that is bad news for us. Well, I know exactly what card I want to get. Give me that gold. Give me that gold, baby. Well. I think maybe we do want a Mork Rut and one less Novice Occultist. I think that's starting to feel correct. Okay. You're not our finest draws, but I, I think that maybe if I peel one of these, I think, I think that maybe this is I think this is maybe okay. I, I, I was feeling that there was increasingly small draws. That would actually help us out. All right. This is not good enough. <sighs> okay. All right. Goodbye, Behemoth. It took me a while to understand why Consider is so good. You have all these spirits. Consider can sometimes just put a card into your hand and then also put something in the graveyard that you can cast from the graveyard. All right. We, we are looking... 
super dead. Woohoo! All right, yeah. Ugh. Probably wanted to cast nothing, but then again, I have the Soul Guide Griff, so. My god. Is the correct decision one less land? I mean we do we have a ton of two drops and redraw type cards. I mean I would cut a land and put back in a novice occultist. Things are a little bit dry where I am. <laughs> Shit. Oh, yes, to draw a creature. Oh, yeah, get out there, Hobzobble. Boom. The ground is locked down. Never mind. Okay. All right, there we go. Turn everything sideways. All right. Green for the root coil creeper. That's a good one. I'm gonna not block once. I'm gonna not block once. Cool. Very cool. Wow. This is really awesome. Probably pick off the Falcon Abomination. So you love that Plains art? I sure did. Never should I have said it, you know what I mean? Alright, well. My opponent has seen <laughs> 23 cards. I've seen 13. <laughs> well, maybe we can win out from here. Got him. This is how we win. Damn. Got me. All right. Block, 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 block. Ooh, the larder zombie's staying back. Oh, look at him. He loves his lard. Oh, yeah, he's a little lardy baby. Oh, that is actually so funny, man. All right, well, let's just get the zombie back. It's zero. Yeah, baby. Woo! And that's lethal because they tap this and kill me. Woo! <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I was wrong. I'm cutting a land. I'm going to punish the deck. No, no. All right. We now have an eight and eight feeling great. Mm -mm -mm. Everything costs two when you're running well. Nice. We've done it. We've done it. This is... I've never felt like I've made a better decision. Alright. 
All right. Okay. I think it's occultist time. Is there a thing on Candle Trap in the format? I, 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 Taciturn Shadow, I felt very meh on it. I felt very meh on it. It's been okay. It's all right. Pass it, Turk. You jerk. What has Flash? No Nebel Gas Intruder. Basically, it's just Cathar Commando. And if you want to trade Cathar Commando for any of these, then heck yeah. Power to you. Does the deck's win condition just beat down? Um, again, I, I, I want to encourage people to avoid the word win condition. Because win condition is a term that evolved for decks that when you looked at them, it was unclear how it won at all. Like, it has no creatures. Uh, so, you know, the literal answer to what is this deck's win condition? It's creatures. Um, as is the case for most lists. Uh, we do this. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, I will do this. Three five, staying alive. But um, the general arc is that we have a lot of card advantage. We have a lot of removal. Um, and we have a few amount of flyers. <clears throat> Evil Cypress is noted. I will update my magic vocabulary. Still a bit new to the game myself. No, I mean, I think it's, it's good that you have some of the vocabulary in there, you know. And I think that it's... Why would we do this? Why? All right, very well. Hit me. This is an easy one to just pick off. But yeah, win condition... Um, typically has to do with non-creature decks or decks that have one or two creatures where you'll be like, I have a list with 57 cards that are land, draw, counterspell, and removal. And two creatures that can win the game. Oh, yes. I'm going to play the Morning Patrol first. Getting our damage in now is good. Or like there's the Demir list that runs no creatures, just removal. So what's his win condition? Oh, it has a Hall of the Storm Giants, which can turn to a creature. You jerk. My guy. I've lost my guy. I want to sigh. Just want to note, haven't even seen Aliesa. Haven't even seen her. Would love to see her. If it's a double block, I'll just kill a flyer. It's pretty straightforward. Cyrus is a little ashamed to admit it, but I've learned most of my vocabulary from other YouTubers. Dude, don't you worry. I got good news for you. We are fans of YouTubers on this channel. <laughs> I mean, if I could draw... I, I, I've drawn basically none of my good cards. I've not drawn Liesa. I've not drawn my um, Exile Creature removal spell that synergizes with Novice Occultist. I mean, I think I just take this damage because we're at 24. Like, the removal that sack a creature to exile would be... Wow, I don't even have... Jesus. 
You know, I'm doing this. This is maybe what I should have been doing for a while here. Bada, bada, bada. Welcome back. Welcome. Oh my god. Alright. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh, fuck yes, Liesa! Woo! <laughs> oh my god! We had to do so many things! See if we just had some of things in here! It would have just... Oh! would have been so good! All right, Liesa. Oh, if you flip my switch, I'm gonna flip this table. Tables. It's about to leave. Exile it instead of putting it. I got this. Ah! Fuck. Ah. Ah. I mean, we're still in a reasonable position, but still, man. Jeezy Louisey. Jeezy Louisey, do you understand me? Oh, Patrician Geist. Oh, how wonderful to... Hear that you're doing well. How thrilling. Has the pain finally become too much for Dana's life? The pain's always been quite a great deal. Quite a great deal of what I deal with in my life. It's okay, I mean, I just start picking off these flapping flyers. So if I do this... It's okay, I have a plan. I'm not surprised. weren't expecting that, were you, you jerk? You total... Excellent. Hmm, bet you weren't expecting this one, were you? <laughs> oh, he's gonna fading hope it, isn't he? The mob grows unruly. Gotcha. Welcome back to the hand. <laughs> I think attacking with the two flyers would have been good. Uh, they'll eat one, and I don't want them to eat one. Because I have, like, clear ways to, like, really hurt them. You know? Look at the synergy! Oh, I guess whenever you sacrifice any other creature at all. Alright, give me my damage. Oh 
Oh man. I'm actually still happy this is the ordering I did. I don't think I would want to play a flesh taker. I think I want my Luminous Phantom out. I mean, here's the funny thing. We're like still in a winning position. He's <laughs> still in a winning position, but I'm just so annoyed that of all the counter spells was the exile one. We just got to meet her. Oh, really? Did we just magically top deck? Uh. Oh my god! Oh! Can't believe he's done this. We're a defense straight away. Cool. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ba ba! Ba da ba da ba da. It is a good day to scry. Yeah! <laughs> no attacks! Be land for once, TRK! Be land with you! Yeah, pass that turn. I know land when I see it. What's this? It has resolved? It can't be. Here I come. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, the power. Just a monkey says that has to be one of the biggest unruly mobs I've ever seen. Well, you've never hung out in Crokey's chat. Ha 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 ha. What now? Yes, the most unruly. I mean, listen, Crokey's chat is a bunch of people with sticks going like. That's a bad include. That's a bad include. That's a bad include. That's a bad include. And he's like, stop it. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Ah. I'll kill the bird. Yes. Two and five. I can't believe this guy just keeps drawing combat tricks. Bada bada bada. Bada da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 Oh my god, yes, this card sucks! I knew my opponent would run on one of these and we would win! Woo! Excellent, here it comes. <laughs> yeah, TRK, get out of here. Alright. Oh, it's a hobzobble. Do we have enough mana? Doesn't even matter. We have 9, 5, and 3. Mmm, that's so sick. Turn me sideways, see if I care. I've done it. I'm huge. No. Next turn, we're gonna do the Swangle Dongle. I'm gonna get rid of the Devious Cover Up. You exile Liesa, I'll exile you. Da -na 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 -na. Fateful Absence? Are we kidding me? Are we really kidding me with this Fateful Absence? This deck is incredible. Oh my god. No! Oh! Good, do it on my turn. Is he 
Expect me to vanquish the horde. Boop, boop, bang, pow. This is actually the killer card. The villain's gonna be all scared about the guys in the skies. I don't know, I got my eyes on. Ha ha! The villain has marked the L. Alright, here we go. We did it! Yeah! We marked one win! Mmm! Oh, the rush. I've never had a high like this before. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Feels good to be good. I do it four more times. I'm trying. We're against Archigal. Someone's trying to type Archibald, something really tough, something really sweet, and just kind of gave up at some point. Turn one, turn two, turn three play. Oh, oh that was a draft. Oh, Atlantic Cotto with, with the gamer jokes. Humor understandable only by gamers. I'm still thirsty. I'm always thirsty. Okay, okay, I got some, I got some email, I got some email. I uh, go outside and uh, say to Brit, I go, hey sweetie, love you. Let's just pop in and get water going back. And she's watching a show called Midnight Mass which is a horror television series. And she does to me this. Imagine the TV screen. <laughs> and I look, and on the television screen, um, there's violence. <laughs> oh, it's some good stuff. I'm just gonna do this now. I think this is a great show, but not scary. Perfect, then I'm gonna love to watch it. I'm gonna love to watch it. I'm gonna love to watch it. I mean, I, 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 I like some horror. Oh, yeah, stay back. I like me some horror. But I, I, I like the aesthetic in horror far more so than I like actually feeling scared or being scared or any of that other sort of despairs. Paragraph board is like a better griffin. I worry that that was the incorrect decision. We do have flesh taker for heals though. Then that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to heal back up. There's a single thing that my opponent can do. Great. My opponent needs to have something that gives them plus damage, and I don't think that 
works. I don't think there's a single black card that buffs. I don't think. Wasted two counters on the mob. That's an incorrect statement because what we were trying to do before was to set up a circumstance in which we could set up a lethal style attack. Um, and so, or prevent a lethal style attack. So as a result, we were wanting to make sure that we could uh, get the healing from this, at which point we may not, might not have had the enough mana to do everything we wanted to do. have to do this. Oh yeah, I could have crawled from the cellar to buff the zombie. That would have been good, huh? Need a bounce effect for this. If we have a bounce effect, we lose. We go one and three. If you shot the one with the bolt, would that have been lethal? I don't think so. Maybe. maybe. Maybe it would have. I have a hard time. Again, if there's a comment about a turn that I'm not on, typically I need a screenshot to be able to process it. Looks like we have died. We're getting some hovers. This is what I got. The skin of our chinny chin chin. By the skin of our chinny chin chin. All right, we're two and two. Have you ever worked so hard to break even? Don't answer anyone who's had student debt. Weaponized Apsis is a stressful day at work, stressful day of betting on Day 9 TV. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, in case any of you are not reading the chat, that card that our opponent used to draw to deals two damage, and it's a great way to just shoot at someone. We're mulliganing this. Opponent goes first. Oh, God, I'm actually not sure. This is... this. We have three amazing defensive three drops. I mean, these are okay, but this one's amazing.
Oracles is down. Have you been enjoying Bane's domination of TI-10? I've not gotten to watch that many games, Oracle. I mean, I go to bed, like, right before they start, and I wake up, and I catch the tail end of the matches. Certainly didn't work out well for VP. I'm gonna hang on to it. Hanging on to it as a... There it is. Natural Born Coward is rewarded. <gasps> our opponent is Boros! We won! Our opponent is running red-white! There's no hope for them! Oh my god, look at this! This is incredible! Ah, uh, you know what? Morning versus morning. Who wins? Huh? I'll trade this. This is amazing. Give up tempo. Make your guy big. Please! I insist! Look! It's just lifelink. That's it. And then nothing? Oh my god, this is amazing. Alright, morning patrol. What up? I'm back again. Ready to rock. Bring it on. We have Liesa. We don't have the land to cast her, but we have her. Oh no, that's bad. That's very bad news. No blocks. Ow. Ow. Oh. Perfect. We're getting closer. We have Aliesa. That's good news. Well. This would be really poetic to just lose to this color combination. Uh, white mana one time. We're gonna lose. Gonna lose. It's happening before my eyes right now. I guess I should have shoved it back. We got to cast her once. God. Boo! You know, I probably should just say, if I don't have a 2-drop, I think I need a mulligan every single time. I think I need a mulligan every single time. 